take this and uh, just kind of move the clock back a little bit. And uh, the governor will say a few words and then I think open it up for some Q&A and we'll have a roving mic so we can, we can hear the questions. I'd like to introduce Commissioner Chuck Roby first to, to uh, introduce the governor. Thank you. Major hip surgery. I've been putting this off for a couple of years, and 
our, one of our young interns researched that there had never been a major natural disaster in the history of Colorado in the month of September. Um, after I had my hip operated on immediately, you know, five days later it started to rain and we had rain like we'd never seen. Um, somebody asked me why, why I needed the hip surgery. I said, well, if you put your foot in your mouth as often as I do, right, you're obviously going to put a strain on your hip. But the one thing we saw on those eastern plains, and we were, we were in a black hot helicopter, uh, you know, even while it was still raining, we were trying to get up those canyons. And you saw bridges broken, and you saw uh, roads broken, but you get down the ground, and people are figuring out ways to get over the debris and around and connect with each other and come together and help each other. And that, even though the bridges may be broken, the roads broken, but the spirit wasn't broken. And, and folks recognize that, that they were in this together. And, you know, Colorado Department of Transportation, and I know there's a lot of critics of CDOT, uh, Rush George can tell you that, that that criticism is usually unjustified, right, Russ? Absolutely. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> but sometimes justified. But those guys, and, and, and I mean the entire team, they worked 12 hour shifts, seven days a week, right? And we're gonna, tomorrow we're gonna open the last state highway that was closed, State Highway 7. And when they, we originally looked at time schedules, they thought sometime in the middle of January. And we sat down and we thought that, you know, in the end, you can't have people not get to their homes, not get to business for, for, for that long. And then we said, all right, let's just make it. I tried to get, get it done by Thanksgiving. You know, uh, Don Hunt, who's our director of CDOT, said, well, maybe January 1st. But I had the governor, so we wanted to set Our compromise was December 1st, so I gave up a few days. But in the end, they're going to get it done by Thanksgiving. And when you see somebody from CDOT, you should thank them. So those guys have sacrificed away from their families. They have worked incredibly long hours. They have done a remarkable job. Um, so, uh, why don't I switch it over to, to, to questions um, and, and, and try to answer them uh, as best I can, and we'll go forward.